all right those good guys your boy team back again so in this video i'm going to be walking you guys through some points or tips that i feel like you can observe or you can just like um start practicing them in order to avoid ads limits on your site so stick with me in case you are new here i'll make sure you give my videos a like and also make sure you subscribe to my channel and with that being said if you're new here my name is don team and go ahead and subscribe and follow me on instagram so with that being said let's quickly start this okay so um normally anytime i want to start my video i start by showing you guys one of my adsense account so this is actually one of it so if you take a look at this account just this month today is the fifth day of the month all right so generated about 300 pounds Oof. okay so um today we had 63 and this day was 119 and today is actually not bad. I mean, even with the low CPC, but we're still printing some pounds. So my aim of showing you guys this thing is actually to tell you guys that anything I show you guys on this channel or anything I teach you guys on this channel is what works for me and what is possibly going to work for you if you apply exactly what I work for you guys through on this channel. Okay, so with that being said, um my in case we are asking where my traffic is coming from, my traffic is 100 percent from Facebook and um basically facebook right so facebook in case you don't you want to know how i do this you can message me on whatsapp okay my whatsapp number is down there in the description of this video and you're going to learn how to do this okay and a lot of people have been finding it difficult to replicate exactly my result now let me tell you guys as a beginner you're not going to start getting these results immediately it takes some time it takes it takes time for you to practice in order to know how to navigate things and also how to master things we don't just know things we practice okay the best form of learning is actually practicing okay as you're learning you're practicing and you're seeing your mistakes and then as you're seeing your mistakes you're correcting them so you don't just expect to probably learn this thing today and then start making this kind of money the same day you can actually do that but if you don't then try and see where you're actually making a mistake and with that you can upgrade okay so just for a proof let me show you guys okay um you can actually see that my traffic is coming from nigeria pakistan let me scroll down a bit all right afghanistan egypt um algeria a lot of african countries all right basically africa and some asian countries okay you can actually target to one countries or any other country you want to target but just to get a lower or lesser see the um, ppc on facebook that's um the paper click on facebook um the targets tier three countries or lower you know tier countries all right so just like i said for a proof let me go to my analytics so you can see that about three people from nigeria are active in the last five minutes algeria um united kingdom um united states of america okay so let me go to the traffic source please subscribe okay you can see that um 66 percent are from facebook basically this one is actually from facebook but sometimes google analytics records some of my facebook traffic as direct traffic probably returning members or whatever i don't know okay so so that is basically a proof that what i'm actually using is facebook and that's exactly what i'm going to show you guys if you message me and like i said I want to drop the course. I'm almost done. In fact, I'm done with the course. I'm, I'm going to drop it soon. Okay, so the purpose of this video is to walk you guys through, or rather, to tell you guys best practices that you can actually um, start practicing on your site to avoid ads limit. Now, if you buy a new site, that's the site that normally experience ads limit the most. If you buy a new site, now I'm gonna advise you guys from my experience don't just start pushing Facebook traffic to your site, it's gonna get your accounts limited. That's one. Okay, now if you buy a new site, what are you gonna do? So, what you're gonna do is this make sure you're buying a site that has the parent content that it got monetized with. Now, now what, what do I mean with by parent content? Let's say you have a site, um, let me say, um. Okay. I'm thinking of this site. Okay, I think I got okay. This let's say you have this site. Okay, so let's say this you have this site. This site is actually closed just a few days ago. Alright, so let's say you have this site. Okay, now let's say you want to buy this site. And this site is having this content as the parent content. And basically, maybe this is not the niche you want to venture into, you probably want to venture into scholarship, jobs. And in case we're asking the niche that I'm using this thing on, this is actually um 
scholarship, jobs, and um, immigration. So if this is actually not the niche that you want to venture into, and you want to probably change it now, I would advise you to make sure that if you are transferring this particular blog to your own host after buying it, make sure you have your parent content transferred to your new host. All right, so make sure you export them. So in case you don't know how to export it, all right, okay. I actually don't want to log into any of my accounts because the reason why I'm keeping them secret is because I don't want people to copy my content and some people might be wicked at times to send some stupid traffic to your site. All right, so um, I'm gonna just pause this video and then log into this particular account and then show you guys how to actually export your content. All right, so just bear with me. All right, after I'm logged into the dashboard, okay, now so. If you take a look at the dashboard, if you want to export your content after buying a new domain that is approved or if after buying a new AdSense account, so the first thing you want to do is to go to your um, tools, if you go to your tools, go to export, alright, you go to export, now you want to select all the whole content and then export, download everything and export, alright, but if you want to download your content along with your pictures, because most times when you export, it doesn't export with the um, pictures and everything. So first of all, go and install this plugin called. Um, okay, go and add new. There are a lot of other plugins that can do this, but the one I use basically is the plugin called. Um, okay, sorry. Okay, plugin called export with. Um, selected, selected. Yeah. Okay. So this is the this is the plugin that you want to go ahead and install on your WordPress. And after installing it, go ahead and activate it. Okay. So after activating it, then go back to your tools. Go back to export. Go back to export. Then go ahead and select all content. Now you want to, you're gonna see this export media with selected content go ahead and select it and then download um export files all right it's going to download got it downloading in xml format all right so after downloading then when you install any wordpress on your host you can go ahead and install the content and the pictures and everything is going to be there all right so that's the first thing that you're going to do you don't know to stay up in you know attention from google Bot so that they won't start suspecting that you're actually doing something wrong all right so that's the first thing now also make sure that the content is the parent content that we use to get approval if it's not the parent content i don't advise you to get it because most guys that get this thing approved they will approve it and then use the same content and work on another blog so they will just upload random contents on this particular one that you're buying by so doing you know the original content so i would advise you to make sure that you're actually buying a blog or site that has the parent content on it so that is what i just discovered recently i've been making the mistakes all right so that is one now secondly if you're buying a site that is not getting google traffic that is not getting any you know huge number of traffic before i would advise you guys to take things slowly now let me show you guys the same site i'm using as an example this particular site Okay, let me refresh it so that you guys will know that this is not some random fake screenshot or I'm using inspector tools or anything because I don't know those guys do that though. Okay, you can see that everything is still intact. Alright, so let me go to the payment history of this account so that you guys will see what I'm trying to say by what I'm trying to tell you guys by building of your account, nurturing it, that's what I call it. Alright, so if you go to the payment history of this account. Okay, so um let me go to your transactions. Okay, let me take it to last um <coughs> let me take it to this year because it's actually a new account that i started working on this year <coughs> okay so if you take a look at the history um this is this was when the money started counting april all right so on april we generated 203 pounds that was the first payment then march or may sorry may we generated 300 can see 200 300 in as much as you know how to push the traffic in as much as you know how to 
make the money count, print the figures and everything. Don't just rush it because you know how to. Okay. Then May was 300 pounds. June 600. We took things up a notch. There's no effects from Google, no attention from Google. Then after that, okay, after the um, June, July that just finished, okay, we scaled up to 1,000. All right, so 1,000, and that's the one we have in the balance currently. Okay, so just this month alone, we are probably targeting maybe 3,000 to 5,000 because this account is assumed to be matured. All right, because for you to be able to carry 600 pounds, 1,000 pounds, and it's still safe and kicking very, very well, that means the account is considered safe. All right, so that's what I mean. That's what I mean by nurturing of accounts. Even going 200 for a new account, you have to spread the traffic to run throughout the month. All right, don't just just start the run it up to 200 pounds for one week and then leave the account dormant. You're gonna get limited. All right, so build your traffic. Don't just rush things because you know how to do it. Take it slowly. Start with spending two dollar per day. All right on facebook scale it up to three dollar four dollar scale it up till the moon turns out and your money gets added to balance okay so that is basically how to build your traffic now if the traffic or if the site is not getting traffic from google search or direct traffic or you don't have any pre-existing traffic bank for that particular site then i would advise you to always redirect your link i'm going to recommend a video that i did in the past on how to actually do that but i'm going to do it again Alright, so just um, very quick. So, if you want to redirect the traffic for your site, go ahead and search for okay, go ahead and install a browser called Firefox, it's a very popular one. Okay, so after installing Firefox, go ahead and search for the name of your site. So, I'm gonna go ahead and search it now. This one, this particular one is um, examexposed.xyz. Okay, I would have used another site, but well, let me just use this one. So, we have exam expose. Oh, X Y Z. Okay. So go ahead and copy the link. Copy it. Then claim. Then go to Google. Okay, Google.com. If you go to google.com, then this search box is going to come out. Go ahead and paste it right here and search for it. So if you search for it, then um, it's going to appear like this. Now, you're going to make sure that all your contents are were indexed before you start doing anything. Make sure you index all of them so that they'll be able to appear on Google search. All right. So um, if it is well indexed, then you'll be able to find it here. So let me just open this one here and then copy one of the post link and search it on Google to know if it will appear. All right. Okay, but not to, okay, just for example, I don't know if I indexed everything. Okay, so let me just use this one. Copy link. Okay, let's go back to Google and search for it. Okay, it's not available on Google. That's because I did not index this particular link. Okay. So let me try another one. Copy link. Okay, I obviously did not index anything at all on this side, but let's use the homepage link. Okay. So this one is actually going to show. And assuming everything was indexed, and assuming this is the posting that I want to use for a new site. Remember, this is actually for a new site. This site is actually not new. It has received countless payments for what happened. Something traffic. went wrong. Please try again. Okay. Okay, so go ahead and copy the link. It's going to be very, very long. Copy link. If you paste it here, realize that the link is going to be long. So very, very long. You can go ahead and use Bitly. Okay, you can use Bitly to shorten everything. Um, Bitly. You can use it to shorten it. Use any URL shortener to shorten the link before you use it on Facebook. By so doing, it's going to help to um, redirect the traffic change it to google traffic all right so that's how to actually do it to avoid ads limits all right so that's another one and basically basically it's just the traffic okay you have to be sensible enough take yourself as google right what can someone do to trick me as a google bot probably okay so by so doing you'll be able to know how to navigate and avoid getting ads limits okay 
A new site that is just getting 100 traffic, all of a sudden starts getting 1,000 daily. Okay, quite understandable. Your content could go viral, and all of a sudden, 10,000. Okay, they're scaling up, and all of a sudden, down to zero. Okay, that is very, very suspicious. All right, so you're making $0.5 in new site, $10. $50 daily just within one week. You started making $100 daily. And all of a sudden, you ran out of money for ads, or maybe your CPC was not giving you what you wanted, or you're just spending money without making your money back. You now stop because you're not making money, and your traffic and everything declines to zero. And you leave it to man for like two days, even one day. It's going to bring Google's attention. And when they check your site, it's enough to tell them that this guy is actually doing something that is not real all right so by so doing they're going to limit your account and if care is not taken they're going to ban it and now banning it doesn't mean that your traffic is not pure or genuine they might give you one random reason that is probably not true and they will just take down your account so those are the mistakes that people will make or those are the mistakes that i make or i used to make before then i think i've corrected it and so far so good is actually moving fine though nobody's above it i have accounts that are on ads limit but these are just the few points that i've noticed recently that that is actually working for me and i believe that if you guys can actually apply it on your own too it's actually going to work for you all right and if you have any other tips on how to actually avoid that limit, please make sure you drop it down there in the comment section of this video and if you want to know how much i'm actually spending on facebook to generate this kind of revenue for this particular account so this is the account i'm using to run the ads Okay, so this is the account, right? So um, my spending limits not bad for this account. You can just send this as spent for five thousand naira, just a few couple of dollars, less than hundred dollars in just seven days, right? So and the return is not bad. You know the CPC is bad. Okay, so I know you might be wondering about the CTR. The real man means the CTR is not a problem. Nothing is gonna happen. Okay, yesterday we got 700 clicks not bad I mean, so that is basically it for this video i don't want it to be so, oh my god it's almost very very long so i'm gonna end this video here please if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe make sure you like and make sure you subscribe like i said hit that thumbs up button let this video go viral let it get to a lot of people all right so with that being said i'm gonna see you guys in the next video stay safe and peace out